Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfella One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Got some got some news coming through, y'all. Got some news coming through. Got some news. Got some news. Got some news coming through. Uh, but uh, yeah, the news is uh, Canelo and Kata Plant switch networks. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Trying to get these videos up before I go to get some coffee and set my fantasy line up. I'm telling y'all, stop doing fa stop doing standard fantasy. Stop waiting the whole football season for y'all for y'all fantasy money. Okay, stop doing that. I'm telling y'all, man, get down with DFS, get down with the FanDuel, DraftKings, whoever else. It's way better. You can build your lineup every week. But y'all don't want to listen. Y'all don't keep playing that fantasy, that regular fantasy. Stuck with the same players every week. But I regress, right? Um. All right, so I guess with Porter and Crawford going on uh, Fox, Fox, you know, don't want Canelo and Kayla Plant, which to me, I would have put Porter and motherfucking Crawford on. Uh, <laughs> I would have put Porter and Crawford on uh, <laughs> on uh, Showtime, but yeah, uh, Canelo and Kayla Plant moving to Showtime. I know Steven Espinosa was talking about how he would like to see Canelo come over to Showtime and fight some of the PBC fighters. My thing is, no, I'm not coming over to Showtime if I'm Canelo this day. I'm not coming over to Showtime. You can kiss my you-know-what. I'm not coming over to Showtime because, because I'm helping. I'm bailing y'all out. But if the money right, I guess you go over there. I guess the money right, you go over there. They got mad. And they got, I forget what they got mad at him and Oscar De La Hoya ended up leaving. I mean, but... You know, at the same time, um, it's going over there. I don't understand why they put Crawford and I don't understand why they put Crawford and Bud over there. I mean, Bud and Sean over there. But at the same time, too, maybe they didn't have a date. You know, maybe you no know, Fox didn't have a budget or the budget for Canelo. I don't understand that Canelo would have been worth all these rinky dink cars they put. I don't think they got a car tomorrow or today that nobody gonna care about. All these rinky dink cars they putting on. I mean. They could just take the autumn cars and just put on Canelo and, and uh Canelo and Caleb Plant. That's my thing. Like why, you know, why y'all keep a shining bug? Cause it's cheaper. Probably. So Yeah, they got a car today, don't they? What was it last night? Uh, yeah, in Bakersfield. Malik Montgomery versus Aleem Jumakamo. And Omar Juarez versus Jaro Lopez. Might be watching that shit on Sunday. I'd rather watch Paint play Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes 100 up on Paint. I don't know. You know he played uh, Lamar Jackson today. But, uh, so yeah, they moving to Showtime. It's Showtime. So, um, so Steven Espinosa get his way. I'm not paying for it, though. Still, I'm not about to pay for no white boy. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing him get beat up. But I don't care for Canelo like that. So, um,. So, uh, so I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you don't understand, really understand the move. I don't know. I don't know if Fox didn't have a budget. So it says sources Mike Cobbins and Canelo Alvarez, Caleb Plan on November 6th will be on Showtime pay per view. The vast majority of PBC's major pay per views have been carried by Fox. Recently, PBC deal with Fox expires at the end of the year, though Fox hold a network option for a fourth year. So the major, so he substituted that copper. He said this may, this is major for Showtime, and could indicate what lies ahead for the PBC Fox relationship. Canelo is the biggest star in boxing, and this is uh, for the undisputed super middleweight. Caleb Plant has never fought on Showtime, so this is Caleb Plant first time on Showtime. Uh, and also, he basically said that uh, it sounded like uh, Fox won't, uh, Fox won't, uh, Fox won't put in that fifth, that uh, that fourth year, so. They, that's why they done. Their relationship was over, and that's why uh, Crawford and, and Porter going over there because they don't care. Oh my bad, my bad. Crawford and Porter on e, uh on ESPN. I'm drunk. I'm not literally drunk, but yeah, I forgot that's on ESPN. So I mean, so for the most part, it's, it's a wrap. For the most part, it's a wrap. They, they done. So they done. They done with uh Fox. Good. 
Because they was putting on some hot garbage on Fox, bro. They was putting on some straight clap your booty cheeks on Fox, man. I don't know what Fox is doing, man. Yeah, Fox, I know they wish they would have kept the UFC. I know they would have wished they would have kept the UFC because Al Heyman didn't did nothing but but drain the budget with worthless fights. You know, fights got to have some name. Even if they good, fights got to have some name to it. Fox, uh, fights got to have some name to it, bro. They be having some no-name nobodies on there. I'm like, man, I ain't watching this crap. I don't care if it is good. That's why I miss a uh, David uh, Morrell fight, man. I'm like, who we fighting, man? The, come on, the UK garbage truck guy? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, my brother. I just I start watching a lot of boxing that you know just boxing fights that that come on. You feel like you obligated to watch it. I just start watching a lot of that, bro. I start watching a lot of that, dude. I'm, I'm not watching all the boxing shit no more. But it just seemed like it's over with. It's the end of the road, and I can't let it's over with. It's unnatural. Good, man. I'm tired him tired of him putting BS. Now he right back where he began that. With no TV dates. You know what I'm saying? Um, no TV dates. And back on premium cable. His plan did not work. His plan did not work, Johnny. He back where he started at doing the running man. Can't keep running away. Can't keep running away. Can't do can't keep doing the stupid shit, Mike. He doing the same thing. Now he back on Showtime with a limited budget. Now you might see these niggas fight a halftime a year. Charlotte and them might be go back to do six rounders. Crazy. These jokers might go back to doing six rounders. <laughs> with head gear off, man. PVC so punani, bro. It just don't make no sense, man. So now you gotta go back to paying week old Showtime 13. I wish I would. I never Showtime don't have nothing going on for me to even remotely remotely think about buying Showtime. They ain't got nothing going on, man. I can watch all... I don't got no... And Billions, I heard it's pretty good, but you know what? I got other ways to watch Billions. Leave it at that. I don't, come on. Showtime need to just dismantle and go away. Take all their shows and, you know, just put it on the app. Put it on the, uh, the Paramount Plus app, because y'all do know that's all Viacom. CBS, Showtime, um, pair of companies. All under Viacom. Straight up and down. They might as well put more money into uh they might as well put more money into uh they might as well put more money into um they might as well put more money into uh Nickelodeon. And they need a new theme song, you know, CBS theme song. You be watching the Alabama sound like arthritis, bro. You sound like arthritis, man, but um No. But, you know, it's the end of the road for, for, for Fox. Fox threw money in the table. They threw time in the table with them week old numbers they was doing. One million, uh, one million on Fox. 1.5 million on Fox, and this is on free TV. All you got to do is get you a little antenna. You used to be able to put, like, a paper clip or, or like, a Barbie pen into the TV and used to used to stream there for you, too, man. I'm, they went digital now. So, I mean, I'm glad Fox done with the, uh, Al Heyman because Al Heyman just be putting on some bull crap, bro. And let's see, Steven, that's been the PBC gonna die unless they get another outlet. And I'm all for it, bro. I'm all for these punk fighters that's getting overpaid for this. I, like I said before, I ain't watching and paying for nothing. I ain't even paying for Crawford and Bud no more. I, I pull up. I ain't getting my viewership pay per view money because they need to, uh. They need to, um. <laughs> they need to start putting, making these dudes fight the best. Real talk, tired of tired of these dudes being really repetitive and fighting bombs and stuff. Like Tank, Tank ain't fight nobody that's a threat. And even they are they up winning. Tank on they know Tank can knock them out. Come on. Mm. So I mean, so I mean. The end of the road. I know Fox said, you know, we should have kept UFC. He gambled on Al Heyman. He burned this like he burned NBC. He burned he burned Spike so bad, bro. He burned Spike so bad, dude. Hold on. 
that Spike just turned the Paramount Movies Network. It, it, Spike doesn't even exist no more. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, Fox said, beep, beep, who got the keys to the Jeep? Not Al Amy, but let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, best way to donate. Want to make a financial donation, cash up, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal, link in the description. Best way to donate, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the love and support. One time for one time. Peace. Let me know what you think in the comment section.